good morning. It's it's a cold and early morning here in Pennsylvania. The past few days have been tough. I've been driving around essentially aimlessly, uh, going to a bunch of places and really coming up empty handed. Now, I think I am gonna go ahead and put this video series, series first before the next one because I have a feeling I'm about to spend a lot of money and I want to recoup my funds as quickly as possible especially after the taxing past couple of days I've had so today I'm gonna go up to Selins Grove area I'm gonna do roller mills I'm gonna do the consignment barn I'm gonna do blue uh, silver moon I am gonna do it all so I'm gonna hop in the car and head up uh, head up north here I have made it to Lewisburg two hours and 15 minutes later. My first stop is Roller Mills. Now I'm gonna be very careful about what I pick up and how much I spend. I think the last time I came here, I almost broke their machine. They ran out of paper. I bought so many things. It was over a hundred items. It was totally nuts. So the goal is to be careful and selective and let's go in. Well, I'm already pretty pumped to see that they finally got baskets. Holt Howard, this rooster set isn't the best and the butter dish is missing the bottom. I love all these Victorian era prints. So pretty. I could not help but notice the snowman. Very cool. It almost uh, looked like a reproduction. It was in such good condition. This is obviously not original, but very cool. Ooh, and I love these lamps. How funky. 135 for both. That's actually not a bad price. Those are really neat. Little choir pixies. $14. I guess that's each. That's about what those sell for. Oh, whoa. Look at this pumpkin witch thing. That is cool. 1985 ceramic faced pumpkin. That is really neat. <laughs> Googly eye pumpkins. It's a hobbyist piece. It's kind of cute. And I love this jar. I've had a couple of these, sold them. They took a while to get rid of, honestly. Oh, oh. Horse planter hiding behind the sign. There's a couple things in here that catch my eye. Oh. First is this, I was looking at that left and I thought it was the bell. I thought it was the Valentine's Day girl, it's a Christmas. Now the hula girl nodder is really nice. It's like that plaster that usually sells pretty well. 25 is too close for me. Such fun knickknacks. I love the little <laughs> boy and girl there. Well, this is very cool. Hmm. Very cool. It's like an almost for me. It's a little too close in price for how on the edge of risque it is. And the kissing nodders here the hula girl that is so fun 25 dollars for the pair and uh they look in all right condition too normally they're all beat up but again a little too close for resale good retail price though so many fun little drive-in spoon that is an awesome little souvenir this is way cool too what is happening figure with marble bait. Does that say $2? I'm very confused by this. Why is this $2? I guess because it's got a broken hand, but still very neat. Figure on marble base. This one's $3. It's missing an arm. It's still very, very cool. I kind of like that. That is really neat. Hmm little bunny planner 
three dollars gosh see this is how i get in trouble here the last time i was here i picked up like everything that was two or three dollars which is a surprising amount i mean it's cheaper than the thrift store and then i love these victorian think of me mugs the ones that say baby and think of me it's just kind of romantic honestly what is this thing oh how cool wallpaper trim and i love all these little candy containers down here all right we got the dollar section right here oh what's this one Hmm. See a little blow mold poodle. Oh, and then they got this funky guy. He's missing some of his whiskers. I really like that hand painted glass fire king, huh? 14 bucks. That's probably about retail on that. Well, this stands out to me for sure. Now go Poodle Planter. Is there a discount on this? <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. Ah, I'm making a mess already. 35. Oh, that's a really good price for that though. Hmm. Gosh, there's so much stuff here. Like. First of all, this is like one of these little redhead babies I left last time, or yesterday I should say, at the thrift store I went to. Three dollars, I'm gonna grab that for sure. And then these Christmas girls, 15 each, that's a little close for me. Josef original, Christmas guy. That's about what I'd get for that after fees. I am gonna hold on to this though. And I like the cows. I've had these a couple times. $8 is not a bad price, but I'm being pretty picky. And the fuzzy mouse Santa. That's pretty cute. $15 is too close for me on that one. Gosh, there's so much stuff. This cat planner. Oh, it's one of these funny two-sided marriage banks. 10 bucks. All right, let's see what else they got here. This is an interesting one. Love this hand painted glass. Lots of salt and pepper shakers. These are kind of fun. They got a little damage on them. Nothing Humpty Dumpty back here. I'm not sure they, those are usually pretty pricey. 18, I could not help but check this out. Oh, wow, that's really quite spectacular. Uh, but it's for sheet music. I thought it was an advertisement at first. The sheet music, um, they usually have really great graphics. I love that Art Nuevo style, but it does not sell well. Good grief, what are these? These are so freaking strange. <laughs> um... I kind of can't help myself. I'm a fan of the weird, unique, and salt and pepper shakers. They're $9. I've never really quite seen anything like it, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up. It's a very, I mean, very unique item. <laughs> All right, let me get back to it here. The Napco Mice candle holders. I have a feeling these are gonna be pretty close to retail. I don't see a price actually. Mm, I'm kind of over it. All right. I got the little girl walking her poodle here. That's pretty cute. Eight bucks. That's a fair price. She's missing her umbrella though. So I'm going to leave that one. Oh, cute little bisque baby. That's adorable. A Nesco, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, I'm trying to be really careful because last time I was here, I purchased over a hundred items, which is really unnecessary. <laughs> See a Bible bank hiding back here. That is very cool. Oh, it's missing the bottom though. Otherwise I would have grabbed that. 
cute little cow. Ah. Priceless. I would normally pick these up, but I found a pair of these in North Carolina and I got so excited, but they have yet to sell and that was like in April. These are what actually caught my eye the most. These are very neat, but they're pretty close to retail. I love the corn on those, those are so cool. Hamburger, those are newer. God, grief, it's kind of hard to see everything. I'm trying to take my time. What are they? <laughs> what? I'm not sure what they're, I think they're sitting on a toilet. Are they sitting on toilets? <laughs> I love the little spaghetti poodle on chair. $10. Bad, but I have a few like it still. I went on like a spaghetti poodle binge. Oh my gosh, what's this guy hiding up here? Oh. Humpty Dumpty, six ninety-five. Is that gonna come off though? <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, that is adorable. For seven dollars, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up. Adorable. Oh, and he, he's a roly poly and he jingles. He's, <laughs> he's seen better jingly days, but for seven bucks he'll do. What's this guy hiding back here? Oh my gosh, that is too funny. $22.50, it's a little much for me. Cupcake salt and pepper shakers, five bucks. You know, I think I'm gonna take a break from this section and come back. There's a lot going on, a lot of stimulation. Oh, look at this little dancer girl. Okay, well, I'm just gonna throw this in the basket before I move on. Cannot help but notice these little precious pooches, $3.95. Some chips, but they're super adorable. They look like Mr. Toodles, but they are not. It's precious pooch. I had said I was gonna walk away, but it's I keep seeing things. This little bowler girl. That's kind of fun. Four dollars. Oh, she's got a broken hand. Just kidding. Little leprechaun. Three dollars. That's a really good price. I just had one of those. It's got a couple spots on it. Like I said, I'm trying to be super picky. I have a feeling I'm gonna, oh, a geisha pig. <laughs> oh, and there's this little bunny hiding back here. $3.50, he is adorable. He does have a little bit of paint loss. Oh, man, and look at this guy. Wow, that's quite unique, it's old. Looks like the, uh, what is it, Bobby, Bobby Brown? No, I, man, I'm having a moment. This escaped me. Oh, and then this, what is this? There's so many things on top of it. Good grief. Gosh, give me a panic attack. May God, for, good, may good fortune be yours every day. That is a really cool calendar, $13. Oh man. Huh, I think I'm gonna put that one back. Use both hands to do so. Holt Howard candles. I try not to get these though, cause I'm afraid they're gonna melt. Melt like not as in <laughs> burn, but melt as in leave them in my car cause I'm irresponsible. Oh my gosh, look at this October angel. She's got a repair, but she is adorable. $7. Oh, never seen that exact one. It looks like Lipper Man. What's happening over here? <laughs> that is funny. Elephant creamer. That's kind of sweet. Oh, look at this fun little trinket dish. I love that. And I'm just noticing these gold cats in here. 
Japan. That's kind of neat. I thought they were salt and pepper shakers at first, but uh, $3. That's kind of cool. This one's got a little paint loss on the eye. I think I'm gonna grab this one. It's just different. Now, I'm a little bit nervous to grab this, but I see the Holt Howard Scarecrow. Ooh, they're missing the holder, but they're only $5. I think I might pull those down. So the Holt Howard Scarecrows are only $5. I'm not sure how well they'd sell without the holder. Um, I'm definitely gonna circle back to this section because there's like a million things that pique my interest here, but I don't wanna fill my basket just yet. All right. So a little graduation poodle. She's cute, but it's this one that kind of caught my attention here. She's got a little chipped flower. $10 is still a super fair price though. And then what's going on with this little jam lady? How fun is she? She's missing the top, but for five bucks, I think I'm gonna grab her anyway. What is this back here? Sunshine, what is that? Sunshine straw display. Oh, that's very cool. New old stock. I love that box. It looks like brand new. It's in such good condition. Poodle. All right, I'm gonna move on, but I'm gonna come back to that section. Mm -hmm. 